the Ancient Legend is now available for you to face off against in the new limited time event quest called Contract Woodland Spirit. Turns out that my suspicions were right and that this quest is very hard. It has caused much distress and frustration for players as it is clearly seen in many reddit threads. Some would even say that the Ancient Legend is on par with Extreme Behemoth, the most difficult activity present in Monster Hunter World. In my personal opinion, Extreme Behemoth is a much more difficult encounter as you have many more options available to you that can change the tide of battle against the Ancient Legend in your favor. So with that being said, hello hunters, my name is Dark Hero, welcome back to my channel where we cover Monster Hunter content, I am so glad you are here and today I am going to be telling you guys the various things you can do to greatly increase the chances of succeeding against the Ancient Legend. I will start by covering the most important tips, then move on to analyzing the Ancient Legend's new moves and what has changed in the old ones, followed by a build suggestion and finally my opinion in the end. With that being said, let's get right into the tips. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to notice is that this quest is multiplayer focused. You can by all means try to solo it, but the quest is scaled for 4 player groups and as such, I recommend trying to organize among yourselves and assign roles for all party members. As we will see later on, things can and will get messy, so it's best if everyone knows what they are supposed to be doing before the chaos ensues. If you are looking for a place to find other hunters to play with, check out our Discord server, the link to it is down below in the description. Now here is a list of essentials and recommendations for this quest. You will want to bring flashbugs and flashpods, astera jerky, life powder, the igni sign and the temporal mantle. Flashpots are essential for this fight, everyone should bring 3 flashpots and 10 flashbugs each time because you're going to rely on them a lot in order to cancel some of the Ancient Legend's moves and for you to have a much easier time with it. The Ancient Legend is not considered a tempered monster and so he will not become invulnerable to the flashpots so you can flash him as much as you want and you should be doing that, you should be spamming those flashpots because you're going to have a much easier time with that. Asteria Jerky is there to cure your bleeding because after all the Ancient Legend does cause bleeding with his melee attacks. Life Powder is just so everyone on the team is able to heal everyone, you don't need to have the wide range skill in order to heal anyone on your team. And even though Life Powder doesn't heal all that much, it might be a lifesaver in some specific situations, so it's best if everyone brings it. The Igni Sign is going to be an amazing tool for you to have and to use against one of the Ancient Legend's new moves that we'll talk about later in the video. And is also able to flinch the Ancient Legend sometimes. Now the Ancient Legend does have plenty of attacks that you don't seem to be able to flinch the Ancient Legend out of by using the Igni Sign. Maybe if you're using the Geralt armor set, but if you're not, I don't think you're able to flinch him out of most of his attacks, but sometimes when he's standing just there and not doing anything, if you just use the Igni sign against him, he will flinch for a little while and you're able to dish out plenty of damage, so it is a good thing for you to bring with you. And finally, the Temporal Mantle, the best equipment in the game, will allow you to avoid most of his attacks. Some of his attacks, for example when he summons the birds and sends them at you, you will not be able to avoid those by having the Temporal Mantle, however the Temporal Mantle is going to allow you to dodge his root attacks and will also allow you to dodge the Jagras' attacks because they are really annoying. And so when you put on the Temporal Mantle you are able to focus on dealing damage or if you are a support player you are able to focus on healing everyone in the team without having to worry about getting hit by the Ancient Legion. Now for recommendations you may also want to bring Health Boost Level 3, Flinch Free Level 1, Speed Eating and Great Sushi Fish Scales. Health Boost Level 3 is there to increase your vitality to increase the amount of health you have and it is the skill that gives you the most bang for your buck, it's the best defensive option if you don't have a lot of room and vitality jewels are very easy to come by and I'm sure everyone has plenty of those so there is no excuse for not having Health Boost Level 3. Flinch Free Level 1 will make it so that you don't get flinched whenever you are attacked by the Jagrases and that is going to make your life a whole lot easier especially if you're having trouble managing the smaller Jagras that roam around the map once the Ancient Legion summons them because you need to deal with them because not only do they deal a significant amount of damage when you have 6 of them following you around but they are also very annoying and can cancel you out of your moves. But if you do bring just a single level of flinch free, you are then able to avoid getting flinched by those annoying monsters and you're going to have a much easier time. If you get flinch free level 2 you will be able to not get knocked down 
by the birds that the ancient legend summons and sends at you. You will just trip and flinch as if a teammate had hit you with another move. So that is useful and you don't end up spending about 3 seconds whenever you are knocked down by that flock of birds. And if you get flinch free level 3, you can just move past the birds that are sent at you. You will take damage from them of course, but it will work essentially just like the rocksteady mantle. But the bigger flock of birds that the Ancient Legion throws at you, the one that covers a huge range, you are still going to get knocked down by those. So in that case, whenever you see that huge flock of birds coming your way, the best thing to do is just to Superman dive out of the way. Now I do not recommend using Rock Steady Mental in this encounter, because the Ancient Legion has a lot of moves that have waves to them, as we'll see later on, but if you are using the Rock Steady Mental, you're not going to get knocked down by one of the waves of that move, and so you're going to get hit by all of the waves of the move, and all of that damage is going to add up, and there's no way that you're going to be able to survive all of that, and so I would recommend against using Rock Steady Mental. Speed eating is there because I think that a lot of people right now are getting hit by the Ancient Legion when they are slowed down and they are drinking their potions or whenever they are not moving essentially. And so, speed eating will allow you to consume your items much faster and even though you may not be a supportive player, it is still going to help you out because in the end, you're not going to have to spend like 4 seconds just trying to drink a mega potion. Part Breaker is there because one, whenever you break one of the Ancient Legends parts, he will get down to the floor and you're able to dish out a lot of damage and it is a good DPS phase. And two, because whenever you break one of his parts, he is not able to summon the Jaguars at least for a little while. And so again, you will have a bigger opportunity for you to deal damage and not have to worry about anything else. Great Sushi Fish scales because they heal about the same as a Mega Potion and will stop the bleeding and also work with wide range, so these are especially useful for the support players, but the downside is that Great Sushi Fish skills are a bit hard to come by, and so you may not have as many of these as the Stera Jerkies which you can just buy from the vendors. Another very important tip that I think many groups are missing or are not doing and should be doing is when it comes to food skills. Always try to go for feline moxie and always check if feline insurance is present in the daily food skills. Don't just go for the first meal option at the canteen, always try to make a custom platter and add 6 blue ingredients, preferably 6 blue fish, so that you get defense up large and you get feline moxie. It will make it so that you don't get one shot by an attack. And this food skill is going to save many groups, so do try to have that as much as possible. And of course, feline insurance basically adds an extra card that you can do before you fail the quest. And also an extra tip is that midway through the quest, you will be able to get another meal at the canteen near one of the campsites, so you can buff your character even more and maybe see if you have feline insurance if you didn't get it early or get some other food skill that you didn't get before. For team composition, I highly recommend having a healer or a supportive player, someone that is able to keep everyone alive and is able to maintain the whole team buffed throughout the duration of the quest. Preferably, this player would also be using a hunting horn or a sword and shield, so that in case they bring the hunting horn, they are able to give the team additional buffs such as attack up large, defense up large and health boost in the case of my preferred hunting horn which is the devil Joe one, or in case they bring a sword and shield, they are able to heal you very quickly without having to sheath their weapon and they are also able to use flash pods a whole lot quicker and that is going to be key to ensuring your survival on this quest. For the rest of the players there isn't much that you need, maybe a tank would be decent, but not too necessary, so I would just recommend having someone that is going to be dealing damage against the Jaguars and has a weapon that covers a wide range, something like a charge blade or a longsword, and then the other two players can do whatever they want, although I would recommend one of those two players using a ranged weapon, something like the bow, so that they can aim at the horns and have an easier time breaking them. Also a quick tip on how to deal with the Jaguars fast, if you are using a weapon that comes with the blast ailment, you're going to deal a lot of damage really quickly, especially with something like the bow that is able to cover a wide distance with the power shots and can proc the blast ailment really easily, you can dispatch about 10 Jaguars in just a few seconds, as long as you have enough stamina to keep that up. Now once you get to the quest, here's what you want to do. You want to fast travel to camp 11 because the ancient legend is always going to be in the same location at the start of the quest. Make sure everyone is buffed before you continue on with the fight. 
and follow the path that I take. On your way down from the camp you're going to be able to pick up some red pits that you can use for your slinger. Make sure you pick those up because you're going to want to use them as soon as you enter the area where the Ancient Legend is. As you will see the Ancient Legend is right below that huge rock and you can just aim the slinger at it and throw one of those red pits and those rocks will fall down on top of the Ancient Legend and will deal over 3000 damage. It will not knock down the Ancient Legion, but that is a lot of damage that you are going to be missing out if you don't make it so that the rock falls on top of the Ancient Legion. Now it would be the perfect time to talk about how some of the old moves that the Ancient Legion has change and what his new moves are. First up let's talk about the move where the Ancient Legion puts both of his arms down to the ground and summons a protective barrier of roots and you're not able to attack him through those, you're not able to go past those and you're not even able to use ranged weapons and attack through those. This is one of the old moves that the regular Legion had and so of course you can use the Igni sign to burn those roots and you'll be able to get to the Legion that way. But these roots are now much larger and you may need to use the Igni sign more than once or have another person helping you out in order to burn all of the roots. However, you don't need to worry about that too much because the Ancient Legion doesn't stay in the same place for a very long time and he will most likely teleport in no time, so don't worry about that too much. Speaking of teleportation, the Ancient Legion teleports a lot more often than the regular Legion. And when he does, he does have two different moves. He has one where he almost tries to hug you, he goes down with both of his claws and tries to attack you with those, those deal a lot of damage, you will be pinned down to the floor if you are hit by those and you are also going to be infected with bleed. That is where the Astera Jerky and the Great Sushi Fish skills come in handy. And the other move that he usually performs after he teleports is basically where he does a melee combo of 2 to 3 hits. Those are very slow, you can very easily see them coming, so as long as you try to roll away from him as soon as he teleports near you, you will be fine so there is nothing to be scared of. Another new move that the Ancient Legion has is where he puts both hands on the ground and creates an AoE attack, but the roots now have three, let's call them charges, with each of these charges expanding the radius of the attack with each pulse. Never underestimate the range of this attack and always play it safe and just try to get a bit farther away. This attack is very easy to dodge with weapons like the bow where you just need to dodge backwards 3 times, but it may be a troublesome attack to deal with for slower melee weapons that don't have a shield. He also has a new attack where the Ancient Legion will put one hand on the ground and will start to summon a root near you that may just seem out of range, unable to hit you, but then the roots expand and connect with you dealing a big chunk of damage. Again, the range of this attack may seem deceptively very short, but don't be fooled by that, just try to get away from that as farther as possible, because that is going to expand very fast and you're going to get hit by the roots. And the next new attack that the Ancient Legion has, and is likely one that has given a lot of groups a lot of trouble, is one where he also puts the hand down to the ground, just like the previous move that we have talked about. However, if you get hit by the very first root that sprouts from the ground, he will basically immobilize you, you will be stuck in place, unable to move or do anything at all. At this point, birds and jaguars will rush you and hit you for some hefty chip damage and if you stay there for a long while then the Ancient Legion is going to unleash another move and is going to deal a lot of damage. It's very hard to survive this attack if you don't have your teammates helping you out. What they can do is use the Igni sign to burn the roots that are trapping you and you will be free and able to move again or they can just throw a flash pot and blind the Ancient Legion. While this is happening, the Ancient Legion will be actively trapping you, so it will be very easy for one of your teammates to just flash him and that is the safest and fastest way to get around it because if you want to use the Igni sign, you need to run up to your teammate and then use it at close range. So again, make sure everyone brings plenty of flash bugs, flash pods and the Igni sign. If you're not talking to your teammates through voice chat and you get caught in the vines, just press the options button to open up the menu and square to ping your location on your teammates minimap. This will alert them about your position and so one of your teammates may come to the rescue. As extra help, the handler will shout that there is an emergency each time that someone in your team is trapped, so you can use that as another indicator. On top of that, you can create a shout and manually use it when you get stuck, though it kind of makes me wonder why the automatic shout for when you are pinned does not come out when you are stuck. 
Additionally, the Ancient Legend also has a brand new mechanic in which he will point at someone in your team and will mark them. A player that is marked will then be targeted specifically by all of the Jaguars that are present in the room. The best thing to do if you are marked by the Ancient Legend is to just use a flash pod and flash all of the Jaguars that are present and dispatch them as fast as possible. One thing that you can do however is when the Ancient Legend starts the animation and starts pointing at someone and before he actually marks a player, you can use a flash pod to blind him and cancel the animation. Now these are all of the new moves that the Ancient Legend can use in phase 1 of the fight. After you deal enough damage, the Ancient Legend will roar and he will move on to the next area. Just a quick tip, if you are able to flash him while he is roaring and starting to go to a new area, you will be able to stun him and keep him in that area for a good while, so that is a good way to deal extra damage. Before you move on to the next area and resume fighting the Ancient Legend, make sure you all regroup near a tent in one of the campsites, you all restock your items and reapply the buffs, so you will have an easier time against the Ancient Legend. Seriously, I've had some groups or times where I was doing this with random players and they wouldn't go to the tents, to the campsites to restock or to reapply the buffs and it just adds up to the frustration. With each new phase of the fight, there's always two different areas to which the Ancient Javelin can move to, but they don't change the fight too much, one of the areas might be smaller, and so sometimes it will be harder to fight the Ancient Legend in those areas, but overall the fight doesn't change much based on the location. Now once you get to the second phase of the hunt, the Ancient Legend will have a brand new move. This will be indicated by the handler whenever a message pops up on screen with the handler saying that the Ancient Legend is getting stronger. This means that he has learned a brand new move that is like a huge explosion where he summons a huge flock of birds and then all of them spread throughout the map and it's an insta kill move. You cannot block it even with guard up and guard up 5, so what you need to do to avoid getting hit by that move is to either superman dive or you can use the flash pod to prevent the ancient legend from doing that. You get some pretty good cues of when the ancient legend is about to do it, the handler does scream and shout that he is about to do that powerful move and the camera zooms out, so as soon as you see the camera zooming out, be prepared to throw a flash pod at the Ancient Legion so you are able to resume the fight. This move doesn't have a range as large as the Ecliptic Meteor from the Behemoth, so you don't need to run away that far in order to avoid it, but sometimes you need to take into account that this Birdemic move, as me and my friends were calling it, may not consider some parts of the geometry, so sometimes you will be behind the tree, but you will still get hit with that move, because I guess it wasn't coded properly. So again, the best way to go about this is to just use a flash pod. And those are all of the moves that the Ancient Legend has, you will keep on repeating them with each new phase, but as long as you are careful and you follow the tips that I have given you, then you should be fine. Remember, you don't need to try to do it as fast as possible, you have 50 minutes to do this quest, so you can all bring very defensive builds and just try to focus on staying alive. And of course, the Ancient Legend is weak to fire and poison and so I recommend you guys bring weapons that have the fire element and possibly the poison ailment, although you don't necessarily need to have that and in some areas you will be able to use the environment to poison the Ancient Legend and so you don't need to worry about that as much. Hopefully these tips are able to help you out and succeed against the Ancient Legion. Now I did put plenty of effort into making this guide, this was entirely scripted and wasn't just a walkthrough of the quest like many other content creators did when they covered the Ancient Legion, I actually tried to give you some helpful tips and not just some filler content, so if this helps you out then please leave a like on this video and share this with your friends. Subscribe if you are new around here and make sure you turn on channel notifications if you don't want to miss an ounce of Monster Hunter goodness. Don't forget about the Anthem Legion of Dawn giveaway, the link to it is down below in the description. And as always, a huge thank you goes out to my patrons for choosing to support me and helping me keep this channel alive. You guys are my heroes, especially Jeff Baxter for going plus ultra. If you would like to support me, then the link to my Patreon is down below in the description. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching, my name is Binar Hero and happy hunting!